Well guys, do you want your RTX 4080 to draw less power, have a lower temperature while increasing the FPS and reducing the noise and maybe even the annoying coil one your PC has? Well, this is the right tutorial for you. So what we're gonna do is do a proper tuning and undervolting of the card. We will just need Heaven Benchmark and MSI Afterburner. Both will be linked down below in the description so you can just go and click and download them and then you can just copy the preset. We will have two presets. One, if you want to just have the smooth, low temperature gaming experience, and one, if you want the more exp the more FPS, and that's all you care about, okay? So I say we get tuning. Okay, so once you have Heaven Benchmark, open it up and just set it all to the maximum, but set it in windowed mode. Once you have it open, open MS Afterburner right here, and you want to go into settings and unlock voltage control and voltage monitoring. Once you've done that, you can hit OK, hit apply, and now we can start with our actual undervolting. So what we wanna do is quite simply open up the curve editor right here, okay? Now at this point, you wanna hold shift and grab the 900 millivolt voltage point, okay? And while holding shift, you wanna bring the whole curve up until on the left, on the Y axis, you find 2550 or roughly around that value. So 2540 is fine, 2560 is fine, something around there. At this point, you release the left mouse button, you release shift, and then you click in the void after that point. At this point, you hold shift, select the whole thing on the right, and then with left click, you drag it all down right there, hit apply. This will flatten out the curve and will make the whole curve run at the frequency we desire, which is 2550 with a much lower voltage, which is what will cause all the benefits we talked about. At this point, we wanna go again on MS Afterburner and we can just max out the power limit because we will not reach the power limit uh, because the voltage is gonna be our limiter. Then we wanna go on our memory clock slider and if you want a little bit extra performance, you can just give it plus 1000. Hit apply. Hit to start with Windows, go into settings, set it to start with Windows and start minimized. Hit apply, hit OK, and you're basically done. However, if you want a more performance oriented setting, here is what you can do. So we reset everything and we go back in our curve, but this time we aim for the 975 voltage point, OK? So it's right here and we want to bring it all the way up to around 2750, so 200 megahertz more than previously, right? Then, again, same procedure, left click on the void, shift, select the rightmost part, drag it all down, hit apply, flatten the curve, and then we can give it plus 1000, or even, if you wanna test it out, 1300 on the best cards. Then we just unlock the power limit and temp limit, and our high performance undervolt has been done as well. In case you're interested in a curve for your GPU as well, I have a video for that one too, and you can go check it out. For more tutorial, please check out the channel, and if it was helpful, drop a like and a sub. See you in the next one, guys. Bye.